Have you met my fiance? Hi, Morley. <laughs> I just like saying it. I feel so grown up. <laughs> Next, please. Look what you forgot. See, that is is one empty hand. Oh, yeah. Don't be mad. Yeah, I'm not gonna be mad. I'm concerned. I just. Do you have any idea what it would be like at work today if I wore that thing? I mean, people will be asking me. Where'd you get the big ring? <laughs> <laughs> you know, how many bridesmaids? How did he do it? <laughs> Gonna have kids? How many? <laughs> Three. What? <laughs> Two dogs and maybe some chickens. I, I, we could talk about it. We don't have to. I just think right now it would be better maybe we could just keep it a secret. Come on. <laughs> That's seven in a row. It's amazing. You are like, this woman's a shark. Hey, you are good at this game. Not really. Just witnessed a tactical game of reading your opponent and adjusting accordingly. Wait, should, wait are you saying that you're reading me? Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, thank you. Yes, I can read you. It's part of my training. Everyone gives subtle hints. Hints, like what? Giveaways. You boarded the plane wearing a suit, but no wedding ring. Serious, but not committed. You let a stranger sleep on your shoulder. Kindness, but also feels good to be needed. The heart-shaped candy. Another giveaway. Either you have a problem with sugar, which, based on the amount of maple syrup you put on your pancakes this morning, I wouldn't think so. Or you have a problem with candy in the shape of a heart, which means